Here's the main washroom with the tiles going on. Here's the sink. And then we have the shower. There's going to be a shower head there. And then the taps. David built a nice bathtub. There's going to be a drawer under here for candles and stuff. But we're still waiting for some tiles, some molding. There's molding detail going around. And those two skylights had to be covered because that's the studio washroom. But these four skylights will remain. Of course, they're full of rubble and dirt and stuff. But um, yeah, there is the toilet. What's going on? We're going to have a cabinet at this corner. So we're now looking at the patio downstairs from the main entrance of the house. There's the entrance of the casita. And this is the laundry room entrance, which also, also has a washroom. So the interior has been stuccoed. There's two skylights for natural light. There's one of the water heaters. And there's going to be a toilet. There's the underground cistern. So David's doing lots of plumbing. You can see he's working on copper piping. He's using really big pipe too, like three quarter inch and one inch. So we should be able to have lots of, um, lots of water pressure. This is the casita entrance with the rooftop above. And there is the apartment balcony. So let's go inside the casita and see what's happening. Here uh, we dug down, the floor has been dug down and we gained about five inches, I would say, of, of ceiling height. Um, so here you can see the new kitchen counter. I see they've already demolished this piece of counter because David had not allowed for the for the fridge. So that's where the fridge is going to go. There's a there's a plug right there, and then this is the entrance to the casita washroom. And you can see that that toilet, that toilet is going to be replaced with a smaller one, but it's a nice appliance. And there's a shower, there's a natural light, and also where this little hole is, there's going to be a round window, 40 centimeters in diameter, and that's going to let lots of natural light into the, into the washroom. So this is the kitchen counter. The stove fits in that hole right there. What we've done here is we've knocked a hole in this wall and we're making a tiled um, sort of island counter so that you can see the dining room, you can feed food through it and there is the opening to the bedroom. I don't think I'm going to put a door there, I think it's going to be like a, a nice curtain. You know, it's good for one person, two people. Uh, this is the, that's the window to the street. You can see the new ceiling. This has all been stuccoed new. These are concrete beams and they've all been stuccoed fresh. And right now it's being used for storage. You can see there the, the dark concrete part is the height that we've gained. So we've dug down. I almost forgot. I wanted to do a shot <coughs> from the street. Now, it used to be a cul-de-sac, now it's open, but it's very, very quiet. There's my neighbor's house, the carpenter with a pink house, and there's a carport with Mimi, and there's the balcony of the apartment. These are the walls of the new apartment, so that's where the new ceiling is going to be done in the next couple of weeks. I'm looking forward to seeing the master bricklayers do that. They do it without support, without posts, without forming. They just start from the edges and they bricklay all around. And there is the garage door entrance, and the main door. So we're going to fix up all the concrete. And there's Lori and David's house, a very beautiful house with a rooftop terrace. And there's somebody knocking at the door. Hola. Hola. And there's the other end of the street with the pretty green house. So that was one last shot. I'm going to go back home and maybe heat some food. So there you have it.
This is uh, the most recent tour of, of our house. <laughs>